Pedal Power BMX. And now I'm rolling out of back street. You can roll right past me. Ooh. Ain't got no time for the bullshit. But you can catch me in traffic. Yeah. You can catch me in traffic. Ooh. Yo, you building a show bike? You building a race bike? Trying to build the ultimate street bike? Anything you need for your bike, Pedal Power BMX has it, son. Look them up and tell them the boys from Pedals Up Podcast sent you, boy. Look them up. Look at the website. Everything you need. Everything. Everything from A to Z, son. What's up? I'm out here in California. There's Brad. Yeah, pedal power. Donuts. Oh, oh my god, I don't know. This is a good thing. What's going on? Like what is, how are you doing? Hey, hey, what's Sweaters. Vegas strong, son. Shut up. And we're live. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Tony Vegas, and my man Danny Son. Oh my God, we're on the 37 episode. Is that what it is? At 37? Yeah. Oh man, this is dope. I mean, it's it's been a great week so far. I had a great week this. This week, how, how was your week? That yeah, was good, man. I got to ride yesterday. That was good. Oh, you got the was day off yesterday, yeah, guys. Yeah, it was a good ride, man. Uh, and look at us right now, all swagged oh, out. All swagged out. Swag our, our, you know, our, our, our guests, swag our guests gave us uh, new, new, new hoodies, and yeah. we're nice and hot in here. So we, we feel good right now. So Looking thank, good. thank you very much, Pedal Power, Miss Chris, Miss B- Mr. Bill, for, oh, the, yeah. for the hookup. So it's, we're, we're rocking. We're, we're, blah, 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 blah. we're just rocking this. DJ you know what? We're live, so we don't care. We do whatever we want. <laughs> Man, shout out to everyone uh, logged on right now. Wow. Everyone in the chat room, everyone watching live. There's going to be a lot of people coming on. Right now, we had 53 people waiting to, to be on. A lot of people go on just to watch the commercial, just to watch the videos, just to w- watch the beginning of the show, because that's always the fun part. And then we always have something at the end. So uh, stay tuned and wait in, uh, to the end. And uh, it's gonna be a bunch of surprises tonight. So uh, hey, let's but, get to but it. But drop in the comments where you, where you watching from tonight. That yeah. way we can uh, give some shout outs uh, so we can give it uh, exactly. proper. Exactly, exactly, yeah, so exactly. Drop them shout outs right there. So you know we're gonna, always the show. We're gonna start off with our sponsors because we have some new sponsors that came into the game, and uh, we have a couple more sponsors that are gonna be coming in pretty soon. I haven't gotten to you guys. I know you guys uh, message me. But I've been so swamped right now, so you guys will be on for the next for the next show. So you guys know who you guys are. Well, so patience, patience, patience. patience. Yes, so yes, we're yes. gonna start off with Mr. Brad Marlin. Oh yeah, Mr. Brad Marlin, always a cool guy. Always got the cool bikes, cool hats, cool shoes. Cool. And he He's brought just, one of them. And he brought one of the cool hats today. Oh He's yeah. Like, oh man, I'm about to be on the show tonight. I'm yeah. like, all right, cool. You're on the show. Oh yeah. So Mr. Brad Marlin's always welcome to the Two Pedals Up podcast. So and then we also got to talk to Mr. Robert Bell. Yeah. 
I love saying his last name. This is his last oh, yeah. name. Is so and and dope. right now I saw he's uh, he's uh, in the chat room. So he's in the chat up? room. What's, What's up, up, Mr. Robert Bell? Yeah. Oh yeah, Mr. Uh, HB Cruisers in the so house. If y'all want a cool ass frame and a, from a cool ass dude with some cool ass vans, that's the man to do it with. Yep. Mr. Brad, Mr. Mr. Robert Bell. Yeah. <laughs> and then also we got to talk about Mr. Mr. Jesse Ocampo with uh, life, uh, bikes life. Oh my gosh! Bike lifestyle it? apparel bike lifestyle and apparel. bikes we trust. Yes. So th- if you guys don't know, he's having uh, um, some new long sleeve shirts coming out this week. I believe they're going to be at the San Diego show this weekend. Um, so hit him up because uh, he makes he makes a, a limited runs of shirts and that's it. So they're pretty. You know, no pun intended, exclusive uh, for uh, bike lifestyle apparel. So check them out. And, and keep posting your pictures. And keep posting. The, those that got them, uh, show them. Show them. Because he'll, he'll tag you up. He'll tag you up, and you'll be on his Instagram, or on his Facebook, on whatever he wants to put you on. So hit him up. And then this is one of our new, one of our new uh, sponsors. They just came in last week. Uh, 619 Lowrider Bikes and Parts. Oh man, this guy right here is fully stacked with a bunch of lowrider stuff. We saw, I saw uh, pictures of his shop, and he's got too many damn so things. So if you're in local in the San Diego area, yes. stop by. If you're not a local, check check out the Instagram page and follow all of, all of these guys. If you're not following them, well, like I don't you understand should. why you're not like, following them by why. now. I don't you know, know what I'm saying. All the information is there, I don't know. and of course, man, with everything going on, like, don't forget to mask up, sucker. Oh, you always got to mask up, sucker. So if you ain't got a mask, get a mask, any mask. But if you want to look cool and have good ass mask that they can breathe good and they look good on your bike and you got a matching mask that can match your bike, yeah, hit me up, hit us up, oh hit yeah. up. mask up, suck up, all the information's there and they will all be put on the today's uh, on uh, our Facebook tonight. And one of the newest, what? What? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got him. We got him. Is Mr. Jimmy Peak from Peak Cycles? Yes, yes. Ooh. You heard it. You heard it right here. We got Mr. Peak Cycles. Thank you very much, Mr. Jimmy Peak. It's always a pleasure to talk to you, and it's, your show is always good. Danny is a Danny watches your show religiously. Oh yeah, uh, so, yeah, yeah. I, I'm excited. I, to that sneak peek you gave us. Uh, you yeah. got some heat coming. Got out. Got some heat coming out of so, it. Yeah, we. Yeah. I was excited, man. I, I had a message him. I was I was, I was I, you you read the message. Yeah. I was in the parking lot at work, man. I was all excited. I was like, what? Yeah. He's, He's like, like Jimmy Peak. Yeah. So we got him as a sponsor. So thank you very much. Mr. Jimmy Peak. And then we had the last minute. Oh boy. Chicago. This one surprised this me. Is but surprised not really, me the but most. Yes, but not really. But yo. But Chicago and Canada. Three Mexicans and a Canadian Gary. <laughs> Son, that, that's what they wanted. That's what they wanted to they be said, called. Tone, we're gonna sponsor your guys' show. And this this is the picture they sent me. Greatest. Greatest picture so far. And I know they're in the <laughs> comments right now. I know they're in the chat room. Yes. So what's up, fellas? There Thank you, you very much. Thank you, Humbled, guys. man. Thank you. Very, very humble. We really do appreciate this, guys. Oh, man. This, it, the, dude, they, the, all their information, all their Instagrams. When, when you guys look them up, you'll see their bikes. And, you know, it doesn't matter what this flyer looks like. But when you see their bikes, you'll be like, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, look, look at Pookie so. with the, with the buff-ass legs. Yeah. He hikes and he bikes. Yeah. Look at him. <laughs> damn, damn those legs, guy. Look at you know, Rudy, we, Rudy los padrotes. This guy. He's got legs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Yo, guys. Man, so thank dope. you guys. Thank you guys all for the sponsorship on the show. We greatly appreciate it. The sponsorship goes a long way into the show. Um, so it just makes the show a lot better and bigger. So uh, uh, we have a, a, a moment of silence, a shout out to, uh, to do. Uh, I believe there's two riders or three riders. That actually passed away within the last two weeks or so. Um, if you can uh, put the the f- flyer up on them. Uh, so two of them out in Arizona, and then we have one on in California. Second. It's actually in the flyer. Yeah, that. Yeah, I believe his name is Thomas. Tom. Hold on a second, guys. We have. You know what? We're live, so we're having technical difficulties, and and you know it is right there. So there's one. There's one yeah, of them Tommy. right there. Tommy? Yeah, Tommy out in uh, AZ, AZ OG, yes. uh, out Bike Life. Um, so. So we want. So I personally have not met the gentleman, um, uh, but I I've seen pictures of him. But I believe he is a he's a big deal in 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 Arizona. So uh, we just wanted to you know 
let you guys know that um, this happened. And then we also got another gentleman right here. Um, I can't read the name from Max. here. Max. Max. Yeah, out of Yuma. Yeah, we actually remember we got to ride we got, with we got, him. We rode with yeah, him. Yeah, man. We did ride yeah, with when him. We, we, we fell behind. Uh, he was part of the group, so he rode with us. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I had that conversation about about the single speed and the, and the three speed. And, yes. Uh, so, I mean, shit, man. So it's it's it it it, <coughs> it um it's it kind of sucks, but I mean it life happens and um so uh, didn't you have one more? Did you yeah. So one? Uh, on Saturday too. Oh. Um, uh, we'll explain. We'll explain it right now. Yeah. So uh, on the way to a ride out, uh, out in L.A. Um, let me see. I have the name. Uh, Br Brandon Brandon Finley. Uh, so he was hit on the, on the way to a ride out. Uh, and I believe it was like with a stolen truck and then the yes. a, a, a hit and run and uh, just so it's just some nonsense, some, you know what I mean? And uh, so, so, yeah, if man. If we could just give a, a like a 10 second moment of silence, that'd be great. And um, just remember the last thing you were with them and, and you enjoyed with them. And, um, you know, it's, it's tough for anybody. And I personally, I, I don't know all of them. Um, I, I don't know a lot of people, but, you know, no matter what, if you're in the bike life community, you're still my brother or you're still my sister one way or another. So it hurts everyone. Yeah, so that, that, that right there, the picture you guys are watching, that's, that's the one from Saturday. That's Brandon right there, man. Yeah, so... so. We just wanted to give you guys, uh, you know, a second. So there it is. And um, they're actually that I know of. I, I know for Brandon, they did have something that Saturday night. And I know that they have, um, I believe they have a GoFundMe page. And uh, this information, I got it through uh, Chief Loons uh, uh, on, um, on Instagram. So if, if you're interested in uh, donating, uh, the info is there. That's where I got this picture from. That info uh, uh, was from there. Um, and and I know that there's going to be some uh, some rides for the Arizona ones. And yes. I know we have the info for that, uh, it, but we'll, we'll talk about that in a bit, yes. right? And then the other shout out that we want to give out is to Mike Britton with his new uh, talk show, with his new podcast out there in, in Europe. He's over there doing it with BK42. Yeah, so that's a, it's at 7 p.m., uh, but that's uh, Euro time. So uh, it's it's like ten o'clock our time. Yeah, like it's ten a.m. Ten a.m. our time on Sunday. So uh, yeah. So Mike 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 Britton, man, I was listening to him. Uh, he's an OG in the bike game. He he knows a lot of uh about the the Euro and, and the uh, yeah. a lot of builders here, man. So shout out to him. And I tell him I'm like the more bike talk the better, man. It's like yeah. it, like really the more. So if you haven't checked it out, check it out. It's on YouTube. BK42. Yeah. So it's play. It's, it's all European stuff. So it's gonna be. It's it's. They have some really really cool bikes out there. So what else we got to talk? Oh, the rides. Yeah. Let's talk about our rides because we got a lot of rides and we got to go through them all because we got some guests that came all the way from California. So we got to yeah, get yeah. these through. So I, I know right now, <laughs> currently right now on, on, on this uh, Thursday, right? Yeah. We, we, we got uh, Southeast Barcada. Southeast Barcada right now riding. Yes, sir. He's riding. right. They're riding right now. So uh, we always give them a shout out. So every Thursday night in, in, in uh, Redlands, they always ride. BMXs mostly. So there's their flyer right there. And then this one right here, this is the one that's going on on Saturday, I believe. I Sun or Sunday? Sunday? I can't read it from Sunday, here. But January Sunday, January 24th. Yeah. My my vision is bad. It's okay because I'm, I'm grown and sexy and blind, but it's all right. <laughs> okay, so there's that flyer right there for the information that's going on in, uh, for the ride and the show. 8 a.m., 2 p.m. In yep. San Diego. Okay. And then we got also uh, that ride, right? There. Yeah. That's for the ride for Tommy. Out in Arizona. That's January 30th, Phoenix, Arizona. More info still to come. So yes. as we get more info, we'll post that up there. Yes. And, and, then, and also in Yuma, this is the first Saturday ride, which is February 6th in memory of Max. So if you're out in Yuma, there's the info, there's the flyer. Um, and yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it, there's all the information right there, guys. I mean... <laughs> it sucks that you got to ride for for a sad reason, but you know you're over there celebrating, you know the memories that you've had with these people. So there's those rides right there, and then uh, what else we got? 
Is that it? Oh, I was like, well, no, that's more, that's got to be more. That's plenty of more. Let's ride. So this weekend, right? This that's is this weekend. Saturday, January 23rd, out in Arizona. Yes. The birthday ride, the January birthday ride. There's the meetup location, uh, the time, the map. So there's the info. There's a whole bunch of stuff going yeah. on. Yeah. So exclusive will be out there. Mask Up Sucker will be out there selling masks. So uh, check out, check us out. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun time. It's gonna be fun time. So we we come to the we come to the to the fun part of the show. One of the p- fun parts of the show, which we call the the bike of the week, um, where people submit bikes to us and then they let us know you know what bike you know they have and then we pick the you know we'll pick our favorite bike or we'll pick a bike that's you know that's like really badass. Um, sometimes we end up not picking those certain ones. We just end up finding this one that's in there and it or and this is all all we that we're, we're we're seeing the the online a lot of the ones that have been submitted a lot of the ones yeah. that come our way um so uh, there's a, a lot to pick from the pressure's always there the but the pressure's always there uh this week i had to go this is my pick of the week now uh-huh. i've seen this one in person um so it was about time i gave it its shine man because it, it is a badass bike man so there it is there it is <laughs> so jesse go ahead go ahead yeah so the, this is uh jesse from delta cruiser um, th- this is his unique bike. I mean, that's a badass paint job. I've seen it, the, the seat, the way the seat is done up. I mean, just everything about this bike, man, it's a unique bike. Uh, and like I said, I seen it out here in, um, in Vegas. Uh, so, you know, shout out to Jesse for this one, man. Uh, so I'm excited to see, uh, what, what he comes up yeah. with when, uh, these competitions coming up. Yeah, it's so. gonna be heavy, it's he- heavy competition. Yeah, man. It's, it's uh, heavy competition. Uh, that's why I'm excited to see a lot of this stuff. So, uh, sa- salute to you. Tell it to you, Jesse. There's your bike right there, my dude. There's so uh, I, I'm excited to see what Tony got because I have no idea what he's bringing to the uh, table. Because right. again, like I pick mine and then I send it to him, and then you know. And he then I have to come out, and then uh, and then I have to. What you bringing? Something. I have to bring something close to it, or at least equal to it, or you know that you know. I I always compare these two these two builders, are uh, build. There's a couple more, but this is the same style I feel. So right here is my pick of the week. Damn, you had to go there, huh? Oh yeah, I had to go with the sh- heat, I, I, I son. I had to go out. I had to go. I had to do it. I had to do. You came out with Jesse, which is a badass bike, and I was like, "Fuck." Yeah, this is another I, one I seen in I'm person, a, what, man. What am I? What am I gonna swing him with? And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put this one because anytime that there's one, one or the other bike, one or the other one gets talked to in in our in our eyes. Yeah, so this one's bad, man. They, it's a bad bike from uh, Chicago, uh, Chi Town Cruisers. Their bikes are just it, their bikes are just dope as hell. So uh, the 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 detail on that it's all engraved it's just it's it's so detailed out so we'll post them out and we'll i'll see if i can post so more, we, we, we more had picks. his brother on here and now we bring in the other one cause yeah both of them was heat both son, of them so were heat salute to both so it was it was uh it was pretty cool it was pretty cool that, that we picked out these two bikes so congratulations to both of y'all guys so we'll see what we come up with next week but uh, hey man let's get into let's, it man because you know, we're, 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 we're excited let's, let's man because Let's just get our, let's just get our guys in here. Um, we got Mr. B- uh, Bill Holman from uh, uh, b- uh, from Pedal, Pedal Power. Yep, Pedal Power BMX. So and, and Bassett there he is. BMX. And B- <laughs> Bassett BMX. And then we got also Mr. Brad Marlin, the, one of the coolest dudes yeah, out there yeah. with his cool ass hat. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this is so so welcome guys. Welcome welcome to welcome to Pedals Up Podcast. It's your yeah. guys. Thanks, it's your it's your show right now, guy. Well, cool. thanks for oh, having me. Oh, you can't put me. the oh, because you gotta take yeah, off your cool ass hat, huh? You guys keep talking about my hat. Oh so man, we you know we got. So right there's the info for for you guys that don't know Pedal Power BMX. That's the info right there. You can follow him, uh, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, there's the phone number. Anything you need. I mean BMX. Well, we'll we'll get in. Let's get into uh. So all the way from Riverside. So h- how's it going? Good. How you guys doing, man? Well, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me out. Excited here uh, yeah. with the hoodies. With the hoodies, guy. Yeah. I was like, what? We got swag? I like yep. swag. Yep. I love good, swag. Good to 30 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> how long How long have you had this, the, the store? Well, Pedal Power was actually a, a shop started by Steve Rink back in the 70s. Okay? So um, Pedal, it was actually acquired a couple times, and then Rob Lynch brought it, bought it, and then I was writing for SC at the same time Rob was. So I was actually 18 years old, went to work for Pedal Power. And then we started a company called Privateer in 85. Mm. So I funded the Privateer, and then we became business partners on both of them. Okay? So from there, we were going to relaunch Pedal Power again in 85, but he lived life a little 
you know, too fast. So, um, well, I wasn't even going to really restart it until I wanted a showroom for Technique and Bassett. It was going to be solely for Technique and Bassett showroom, but I thought, shit, I got a master's degree, right? Diversify. Mm -hmm. That's what I paid for, you know, schooling. So we diversified, fired the shop up, and uh, e even though we have our Technique and Bassett product lines in there, we brought in a bunch of competitors. I mean, it's, it, the, the more in the game, the, the, the better off the client gets, you mm -hmm. know, with, as far as product's concerned. Yeah. So it's just a retail lo location, like a retail outlet that's, but I think it's pretty globally known, though. That's why it was better to, to, to refire up the pedal power um, bike shop. Yeah, your shop is mm -hmm. completely stocked, man, because I. Yeah. <laughs> I went. I went. I went. He tried to warn me. He did try to warn me. I went. I went to Pedal Power with with Brad last week. Was it last week? About a week ago. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, "Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna get some things, and then. But I must warn you that you know that uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of eye candy there, and I'm like, I know, and it's gonna suck. So two hundred dollars later. <coughs> well, you know, <laughs> Bill, I told him when I said, you want to come with me? He's like, yeah, man. The guy go, I, call, I, I got a hold of him later on, and I said, okay, you need to be well armed with all of the sensibilities you could muster. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, I, I, the <laughs> reason why we started this is because, you know, a lot of people go in the bike shops, and they, they get the same thing. Oh, we can have it for you in two weeks. So then so then the online retailers take over, am I right? Uh -huh. But if you have it right in front of you, you can, tell, you can take it, you can whatever. I, I don't like, you know? I, I honestly don't really like buying, I, I second guess myself buying anything online. I have to feel the product. Yeah. I have to look at it and then and, 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 and I'm like, oh, this is actually, the, and then I go ahead, either I buy it or I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm going to wait a little bit longer. And then I'll go and find it somewhere else. But I, I really like to but, but even now on yeah. nowadays though, like even online is hard to find too. So you have mm -hmm. to know the right places to go for <laughs> the right parts for yeah. certain builds that you're looking for. And like you were talking about, like how you you've seen the the bike game kind of grow again. I mean, because you you came in before pre-internet, so a lot of it was word of mouth. Was like how you said racing was, you know, getting the name out there uh, to to kind of keep the business. So you, with the internet now, you adapt and and you 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 go with you know you, like you said, you have to have that because everyone wants it. Like you know that that quick, now you know? they want yeah. it yesterday. Yeah. You no, know, and, and then again with like Bassett being U.S. made, there's not too many other manufacturers out there making. I know uh, Craig Turner over at uh, 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 Turner Bicycles does. Us, um, <laughs> SM Bikes is rolling into the cruiser game. So there's a there's a lot of competition out there, but yet there's a lot more people that are willing to to buy the bikes because the biggest um, clientele base that we get is people that, like you said, it's word of mouth. Now they see one of our badass bikes out, and I do think that we make the world's best bike, hands down. And I'm, I'm going to say it right here. I don't. There you go. It. I don't. I, I don't personally make it. Paul Bassett makes it, but he goes off of my designs, and um, they just ride really well. And when people ride a, a box bike from China and then hop on one of ours, they're going like, "Holy shit!" So I it's night and day. Yeah, it, it is night and day. They stand God. out. Yeah, it's like the yeah. Ducati. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is you night and day because I've ridden Brad's bikes, and you know he's had. A, how many, how many Bassets? Couple. How many Bassets you have? Oh, had. Um, I have, I have three, one in the works and two on the road. Yeah, see, and I've ridden, I've ridden, those all two of them. them, all of them, yeah. And we rode three, but then we, now Art Rico has got, see, uh, there's yeah. got one of the swoopers. Yeah, e Evan, what's up? I love your bully too, bro. We have, <laughs> this, we have this bike. We, we, I named these bikes by the way because, um, just, just a little short story. Scott Breithaupt was my best man at my wedding, the, the founder of BMX. And, uh -huh. You know, when I, I used to ride for him, and I ran a track in Auto Park in Long Beach, California back in the early 80s. And we used to have these little charades, not so much with Scott, but with some of the riders. And we'd sit there and do whatever and start blurting out names for stuff. And then sit here and laugh. And whoever, like, when you know when you got a good name, everybody's fucking laughing in the room. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have to sit here and think to myself, because all my brothers are gone. You know, the, the guys that I, you know, Rod Beckering, uh, Lonnie Tatton. Uh, Rob Lynch and Scott, they're all, they're, they're not around anymore. So um, it's not like I have these things popping in my head, but I think like, what, what can you name a bike? And I came up with this bike with the, with this tubing that was just huge. And I go, I, I was going to call it the beast or the something. And I go, you know what? I'm going to call this a bully. I hope nobody takes it out of bully. context, you know? Mm. So yeah, I kind of stuck with the bike. Now everybody wants them, but we don't make them anymore. Ah. Hey, but I, I heard there might be a bully. Two coming out. Oh Ooh. damn! Yeah. You know, that's why, 
you know, that's why I love our show. We always get some exclusive news oh, yeah. in this. There. Like, things just pop out of nowhere in this show. So right. you heard it here first. It's, it's, it's always a good thing when you hear things first. I'll Be take a Manhattan one more. <laughs> oh, man. That is a badass and, and, one and right Brad, there. And Brad does not play around when it comes to these bikes. This man just like, I like it. I'm getting it. It's like usually every like when you see someone riding a bastard, like they know what's up. Yeah, <laughs> like they know what's up already. Well, they they, you know, they know what's up. All you gotta do is go online. They're the only ones that don't talk shit about nobody else's bike because, you know, they. I'm, they don't I'm, have I'm, to. I don't. You know, I'm not saying everybody does, but sometimes it's, you know, I see the guys like Rod, Rod Rodrigo Lopez. I've seen these names, come up and down these screens, and these guys they really never say too much about anything. They just don't want to give up the secret is what it is. Uh, right. See, yeah. See? That's a, that's I a get good it. Thing. I get it. It's a good yeah. thing. Yeah. See, I mean, and, and, and with the people that are on here, we have BMX people. We got cruiser people. We got, this is a bike show, bike life show. So right. all bikes are welcome into this thing. Thanks, so, Ross. You know, so that's why we, that's why we, you know, we, if we're going to call somebody up to, to come over here and show some things out, you know, we might as well just call some. Some heavy hitters, so that's why we called up Bill, and you know uh, we talked I thought to Bill. That's why Brad was here. Yeah, that Brad. No, <laughs> Brad came. No, yeah. Brad, Brad. Brad's always welcome. Nah, he's, he's, Brad, yeah, he's Brad's cool fam. Dude. Brad's yeah. fam. Brad's always yeah. fam. Yeah. And like all the pictures you, you see, like they're all unique in their own way. Yes. They all got their own character. No, they're I, all badass, man. Yeah, yeah, I see the GJS tribute that we did, and yeah, uh, a, usually when we build something like that, someone will ask, and then we'll. It, it, We'll we'll just roll it into the the this you know the scheme of things I guess and, yeah. and we'll make X amount. Now um, your 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 Bassett your your I mean sorry your technique that's yours right? Technique, technique is a company that I, I I acquired from John Fry the original founder and he still makes all of our parts. Oh okay. So he wanted to sell it and buy some machines so I bought his machines for him and took the brand. Guys, if you guys uh, do you have the the pictures of the technique? I think it's in the technique folder. Um, if you guys see these quality parts, these parts are all quite. These ain't no. No fifty dollars, no seventy five dollars. Oh, yeah. You know, none of that stuff. This is in the hundreds, and well, that, uh, over like yeah. three, four hundred dollars. There's you know, some, parts. there's some pedals, and and there's the hubs. Yeah, show them, the, show them all them. that. All that stuff. Explain. How much? How much are those pedals right there? The, those ones are two seventy five. See, but you can configure them any way you like. Yeah. I mean, you, you can, can get any, any colors, any color, posts, any. It eats. Yeah, that's yeah. killer. You know what? You know why I opened that shop? I'll tell you what. There's no one else in the world that does this. You can come in if we have everything in the shop with mm -hmm. my two guys. Uh huh. We can have you a complete bike built from r rims up in three and a half hours, every color that you wanted. Yo, your Yo. choice. I only no give them an hour and a half. Does it in the world? Uh -huh. yeah. That's yeah. why I love going into your shop, bro. Because I get, you know, you give me the the opportunity to go and and figure up, some Robert? shit out. You know, it's cool as hell. Yeah, you can go it's choose cool all your own colors, whatever. I, Spokes, nipples, everything. Because I was there when, when Brad was trying to pick out the colors for his next bike, and we had like we we literally brainstormed how his color wave was going to go on your yeah bike. yeah, but it always changes. The, yeah, it always changes. <laughs> yep. You know, and and also and also when Brad comes over there, you know, and if if Brad happens to see rims laying around, <laughs> and he's and Bill's already <laughs> built them for somebody else, he'd be like. Well, uh, I'm going to have to build one real quick, but uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. That's it. No, I can't take, but you can take this one. I'll build another one real quick. But all of his parts are all good quality parts. Yeah, uh, look at that right look there. Look at that. That thing is so sick. Well, you know, the Manhattan, the reason why I made that is because I had another manufacturer at a show say something. I said, okay, I'm going to build, a, I'm going to build, I'm going to build. The best looking frame that people are gonna just take a shit when they see it. Yeah. They're just gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna have they, they, not no double take. That's a triple take right there yeah. in Manhattan. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I made that bike and it took us like seven hours for each frame, which is ridiculous. So we only, we had to, we had to stop it at 20. Oh, wow. See, you know, it, you know. I, I love going into that store. I, there's just so many different things, okay. and usually, usually all your, all your anodized parts that you have on your, on your stuff. They all match. The majority of everything all matches. It's, uh, do you guys have your own powder coater? We we use R and R. They're about a mile I mean, away. Mean anodizer or powder coater? Yeah, we we we're having problems with the anodizer right now. But um, we use R and R powder coating out in uh, Riverside, so we use them. Nice. It's about a mile from the shop. I actually ride to work every day on my bike. <laughs> and then when cool. people do orders, you'll see me riding down the street like a tweaker with my with a bike <laughs> oh, with a bike hands. frame. Oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> people think I'm a this tweaker. guy rolling around with his bike. I, I'll have a bike frame and forks on me, just ride my bike down to the thing. It's actually easier, and it takes less time than driving a car. Yeah, oh, those those are your technique. 
uh, hubs? Yeah, they're, they're, you can you can actually do those in probably, I would say a thousand different variations and yeah. colors. Yo, you guys you guys seeing this? You guys you guys really paying attention to this? It's like everything can be customized from one nut on one side all the way to the other side. So, you have how many pieces go in that hub? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven? Seven exterior and four internal. Wow. So, it, yeah, you get to pick out some really cool. The, like I said, these are really, really well-made hubs. They're not, they're pricey. Don't act like you're just going to go in there with $100 and act like you're going to come out with something. No. Yeah, but these you can use the nice. rule, right? I know the rule. I know the rule. If you if, Why is it easy for you to spend $50 three times than it is for you to spend $150 one time? I follow that rule now. <laughs> That's a, that's a good rule to follow. Yeah, because that's the thing. If you're building a custom bike and you want to be different, you want to have those unique parts. You want to have that you stuff. You want to save that, up uh, for no. it. But at the same time, though, you're riding your bike, you want quality. You want you know quality. What I'm saying? It's not just some shit you can just paint over and be like, all right, it looks cool. Like, mm -hmm. nah, you want quality right. stuff with your bike, man. Yeah. You know, I'll tell you, the first set of hubs cost me s almost just under seven grand to make. Holy shit. The first set of hubs, and I have them on a bike in my garage. Wow. Wow. Can I buy that? They, they See, were, Brad, can I buy those? They were. <laughs> can I buy they those? Were, they, were, they were, yeah, it was those? like, you know, you, you put that much money in, in the R&D. That, that's a hub. That's a bicycle. That's hub. a hub, and yeah. You know, it, you know it's be, because there was some mistakes made the first time around. And we actually, there's a prototype set that's, I don't know what it'll be worth, but it, it I, I'll have to send you guys some photos of it if oh, I can find them. Oh, that'd be dope. Yeah. You got, and the majority of all your parts of your bikes are all made in the USA, correct? We make a 90% U.S. made bike. The only thing we don't make here are tires, tubes, rim strips. Our rims are imported. The spokes and nipples, of course. And then, like, the chain, the seat. The little, the little stuff that's You know, like we use Amy Grips down here from Vegas on all our bikes, just about. And we use uh, a Jaguar cables. But all the frame fork bars, posts, headsets, they're all made here. Oh, no, see? It's so Rims, cranks, pedals. They, there you guys go, guys. And it's a lot of this stuff, USA they, they, they can find it on your website? They can find it on? We, we actually have three sites. There's BassettBMX.com, which is our core site. Um, we have TechniqueBMX.com. And then PedalPowerBMX.com. Uh, so we have the... The three sites that we sell off of. So, so yeah, you guys heard there are three. At, if if you're in the in Riverside, Cali, I mean, stop by. Look at this. Look at all this stuff, man. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'll go broke. I'm telling <laughs> you right now. Yeah, it's it's it's. But you gonna it, spend your money on something? Why not spend it on on what you want? That's what I say. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is his setup is the worst thing for me, man. Because I'm like, I'll see you in three hours. Right? <laughs> well, I'll be on the road. Hey. You know, it's just like a deli. You want to go and get a good sandwich, or you want you want to go, you know, get get a get a crappy. There you sandwich. go. Yeah, and I don't. I want my fr good sandwich fresh. I yeah. want my good sandwich. Yeah. But you're gonna pay twenty bucks for a good sandwich, not five bucks. That's right. <laughs> pay five yeah, bucks, right. go to Vons. Yeah. Yeah. But right? do yourselves a favor. If you're coming from Vegas to to Riverside, you got to stop at Frosty's Donuts. <laughs> Frosty's Donuts, <laughs> delicious. That's the way it goes. Yeah, don't don't show up to this shop with no fr without Frosty Donuts. I'm just telling you right now. <laughs> <laughs> It's tradition. <laughs> and so how long have you been uh, with with Bassett? Well, you know, it, it's it, the funny part is, is I, I knew a Bassett back in the 80s. So when I rode for SE and we quit, um, and Rob and I went, he, he bought the bike shop. We went, I went racing with uh, pedal power, basically. Mm -hmm. And, and we, I would, for the, for the card, it was only me and him riding there. He had to have four racers. So he would race Pro Cruiser and Open, and I'd race uh, Pro-Am in 17 over X. And he goes, you do a little bit better on a cruiser, and I'd be thinking Bassett made a cruiser in 1981 that was just the cutting edge, just the smallest. I mean, kind of like r, &R RRS. I'm sorry. They made a pretty small cruiser as well. But I was riding these Flovels and the Mongoose 2 fours, and I was going like, you know, if you can get me a Bassett, I'll ride a Bassett, but I can never find one. So I got hit up by a, 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 a Todd Peterson. He's the winningest uh, pro in the 70s for mm -hmm. motocross in the 80s. And he's a mutual friend of ours with, with Paul. And he says, hey, hit Paul up because he wants to uh, start doing frames. And at first, I was just going to be the, the R&D dude designing and stuff. But it it turned out to where I just started doing everything, and he started doing the fab. So it worked out quite well. And we started in 2009. So it's going on 12 years now that we've been uh, back in business. But they actually came out with a, um, 
uh, bikes in 78 to 83, I believe it is, 78 to 83. And then they had a little bit of a thing with, you know, the um, ownership and things of that nature. And, and then John was um, murdered in 80, uh, I believe 88, that was Paul's dad. Mm -hmm. So that kind of really t took the company, you know, backwards, you know. So relaunching the brand has is, is been a really big deal to me because, it's, again, I was a bricklayer for 26 years. So I, this is something I really didn't have to do. You know, it's just, I, it's for the love of the sport. You get on a bike and... I mean, I, I'm, I'm down for a car chase right now, bro. You know, what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you, know you get me on, you get someone on a bike, and it's like, fuck it, let's go. Let's go. You know I'm what gone. I mean? It's in my blood. Like I, I was telling you guys my story when I was a kid. Yeah. It's like you know, there's a diversion time right there. You know what I mean? So the Schwinn, the Schwinn was your first bike. You said. Uh, the, well, what I, was your first bike? What was your uh, very you know first what? bike? My very first bike that I remember was a Free Spirit, and I was pretty. If, if, and it, it got tore up quick, so you're saying, like, yeah, the cheap bikes. Yeah, my dad sure went out and bought me a Schwinn. Because mm. that Schwinn I rode off the park bench and ate shit on, that thing was still rideable after I got out of the hospital. See That's what I'm right. saying? That's you right. You know what I mean? Had to been the free spirit, I probably would have bent the forks yeah. and stuff on it. So. <laughs> my first That's BMX was a, a conversion bike. from a Schwinn Stingray, and you bought the kit, and it came... You bought the kit at the hobby store, and it came with knobby tires, and so you had, like, the heaviest of all BMXs oh imaginable. But, yeah, man. Yeah, it was a, a, a Schwinn Stingray, and I, I had the Mongoose, the Motomag ones, the the, the, mm -hmm. the ones that go for about two grand right now. I knocked a little webbing out of them and <laughs> sanded them down. I had an all bitch and bike, but oh yeah. My my, my, my very awesome. first BMX was a, <laughs> a Sigma, the white, the one with the white covers on it. I bought it at Pet Boys. <laughs> 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 I bought it. It was like up there, but next to the tires. I don't know why the bike was up there, but it was up there. My dad bought it for me. I said, Dad, I want that, and then it was just loud. It was just those those covers. Those it was gray with white tires, and the co yeah, it was it was fun. Oh, yeah. It was nice. fun. It was it was a fun bike. It was a fun bike. Man, we got 82 people on the chat room right now. Is there any oh, special awesome, shoutouts that you want to give out? I mean, I know we got a lot of people Woo! on here right now. Well, I, I just been seeing a, a few people actually. Um, we just started a factory team. I got a couple riders need a room that we just picked up from Henderson, nice. uh, Nevada. The, it's Joel is the, the dad, and he's got Cannon and uh, um, another son. I'm I'm, I'm pretty. Yeah. Who? Yeah. I think it's Gunner. 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 Gunner is his name. So we have uh, two of our riders need a room. I wanted to meet them tonight, so I drove out here to do the podcast, meet these chats, and. Nice. Um, also, we uh, through the shop we sponsored Bushido Racing with Splinter. Nice. He's been yeah. He, those guys have a few guys, so we we sponsor them with uh, the support of the bike shop team. But then when they do that, the Bassett comes in as a factory sponsor because we're making our own aluminum frames now too. So I think did you oh. see the frames? Oh. Which ones? Oh yeah, frames. the race frames. Yeah, they're, they're, they're sick. sick. I haven't they're seen them, so but sick. I will. Our but guys, I will. You know, our, our <laughs> guys, we have some guys in Florida So, right Bill, now. what size race frames are you doing? 20 is in 24s? We're doing, I got 20s, 24s. Uh, we're doing uh, Expert, Expert XL, all the way up to Pro Triple X. Wow. Um, Pro Cruiser, we're doing a 26 and 29 race frames out of aluminum, too. Wow. So, and Technique is, we're going to come out with an aluminum cruiser frame here shortly. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. We have to hook you up. Yes, he's killing me. Oh so lead in. It's like oh. I'm, gonna have to, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Hey, I'm gonna have to charge Brad double and, and hook you boys up. Yeah, for free. Yeah, I'll okay, bring cool. you extra. I'll bring tw <laughs> two dozen boxes of donuts next time. <laughs> well, no, I see some Peter. I, I see some let's people let's, on yeah, the let's board. Let's give some shout outs to some people that are on. Yeah, here. I seen. Yeah. Uh, Says, damn, a lot of BMX history. Oh yeah, yeah man. Is it, you know, uh, it's a lot of knowledge right there. Rodrigo Lopez, uh, Rudy, uh, Alcevez. Scroll down, uh, scroll down, P. Peter, Peter Burnell. Got Rudy. Chicago brothers. Uh, the Chicago uh, brothers are in here, Erica like always. Reinhardt. Francisco. What's up, um, Francisco? Pedro. Pedro. Yeah, a lot of time. Linda. Yeah, there's Rodrigo again and, and uh, Keith Ellis. Jeffy Jeff, what up, man? Steve yeah, Broadman. Nah. Yeah. No, Nancy. No. Hi, oh, Bebs. Hi, Bebs. What do you mean, no Bebs? Hold on. <laughs> there's Robert Bell. Yeah. yeah. Robert yeah. Bell. Yeah. Robert Bell. Yeah. 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 What's up? That's it, Robert. That, that's it. That's how there's, everyone's going to say your name. Ross Belfour, you know? He always calls everybody kid, so I just hey, call him Pops. You know what? I'm just going <laughs> to. If you guys don't mind, I'm going to bring my wife, Chris, in here. Yes, yes. Yeah, Come on. Come, Come say hi. Come over here. Come say hi. You say know? hi. And this is the reason I would not be doing this if it wasn't for her. Aww. So it's because of her is why. She's, yeah. she's the love of my life. Get everybody on a bike. Get everybody yeah. on a bike. <laughs> so. she had, the bike she has is one of my favorites out there. 
See? She's got a few. The she one that's not supposed ones. to be green, but it's green. What's up, Rhett? There's Rhett. Gold. And Golden. Jimmy Pizza. So, Aaron, Markles. what up, Aaron? Yeah, hey, Markles. Hey, Billy. So, yeah. So, how do you, how, her, how do you, you like know? the BMX world? Rudy, everybody. What's your thoughts she... on your BMX world? Like, You know, the I'm learning all the parts. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> well, the free wheel and the um, chain ring. That, that, See, if I can master that, I'll know everything. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> the, it's there basically it's her shop. So, we did the shop for her. In, but I do run Tech and Bassett out of there. So, it's kind of a... You got to come in there one day when we're when we're plugging on all cylinders, and you can see how it kind of works. But she's a, she carries mountain road, well not road, mountain uh, cruisers, all, beach cru cruisers, beach cruisers, Schwinn. Go ahead, go ahead. So, it's yeah. your time right now. It's your time right now, girls. Okay. Hey, explain, explain them. Tell them what. Tell them what you got. Tell Peter J. Bernal. We can do custom wheel builds. Bill Bill is the master wheel builder. So any color you want, any color combination. And you can come in and get it in forty-five minutes. No bullshit. God. Yo. Yo. No, no, I'm, I'm telling Yo. you right now. You I'm come into the shop. Right now. Where else can you find somebody to do wheels minutes. in about 45 minutes and you're out? But you got to come on a Saturday. But you got to come on a Saturday. Or there a you Friday. Go. Yeah. And you got to make sure you wear a blinder so you don't get distracted by other, all yeah. the other badass shit. <laughs> you're going to go in for the wheels. <laughs> and they ain't, they ain't cheap. I'm telling you right now. But they're going to be good. And they're going to ride good. Evan, Evan's, Evan Passone, it, his, his brother Scott, that was actually... That wheel set that uh, you bought. Oh, that I nabbed? Yeah, because Scott goes, hey, I've seen those wheels. So I had to build some other wheels <laughs> a little different. Sorry, Scott. Hey, thanks for understanding, Scott. Yep. Scott Passone, man. That's where it's at, See? bro. See, and he's, he's showing the love. There's Efren, too, Quintero. So we had, we had literally um, about 89. We have 89 people online right now, and it's just freaking great. I think that's, I, I like, the top them, one right now. I told them I wanted to beat the record, so I told these guys, yes. hey, you got to get on. You got, you, you, I uh, think you beat uh, the record right now. I think we should have went to 100. I, I think we What's we up, Jerry Cordova? Let's that's, get some more people in here. She uh, just, oh, she just bought a hoodie for her husband. Nice. 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 Good going. Hey, thank you, Jerry. I got your order out. I remember that. You see? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? What? Dude, I, I, you know what? I, it's like Jerry Maguire, dude. My, I love all my customers, bro. And I'll meet you in the end zone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. That's cool, man. There's Holland Hollingsworth. See? What's up, Holland? Every and Jose Ruiz. See, we got new viewers. Oh, Captain. That's Captain Jose. He, if you guys ever want to go on a fishing cruise, hit, hit, up, hit up Captain Jose over in uh, Galveston. Oh, really? He sails out of Galveston. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, okay. And then you got Holland. You need some car work done up in Sacramento. Hit him up. Damn, my man's just plugging away. I like it. I like That's it. That's cool, oh, we, man. We know ABC. our clients. We that, know our clients, bro. That Danny, Danny, knows, Danny, Danny has a saying, ABC. Oh, always be closing, son. Always be, be closing, son. Yeah. There's Michael Bueno Luz, too. He, he, does, uh, he, he does some of our tech work for us. See, the thing is, is that a lot of people, I'll tell you this one story. It's, it was Jessica, or it was Erica's husband. Now, we're not, we're not a company that just money's first. We're relational. Yeah. Okay, so so he comes in and, and I didn't have his wheels done. He didn't know that I had uh, anodizing issues, so um, I gave him a refund. I said, you know, because he said, hey, I well, I don't see the connection, so I gave him. I said, well, you know, let, let me give you a refund. And then my wheel builder was there that day, and he goes, hey, uh, what do you want me to do with these wheels? They're up next. And I said, well, build them. So I knew another guy in the shop because we're doing a remodel and we're busting on a wall. And I asked him, I said, hey, you know. Uh, you, you know Nick? And he goes, yeah. And I said, well, here, take him these wheels. Give them to him. And he goes, are you kidding me? He goes, well, you want him to pay for them? I said, I don't, I don't care what he does. I said, I want, I want this to be a, a, a commitment. I want this to be relational. I, it's not about the cash. Mm -hmm. And he came in two days later, and he, 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 there's like a tear, you know what I mean? You know, because we're relational. And that's a true story. Mm -hmm. That's, a, that's, that's, that's good. If it's the, the whole bike life, the whole thing is that it's all relational, you know? It is. 100%. You remember the Juan Rod Rodriguez who ended up getting a couple of his bikes stolen, and a couple years, three years later, I found these two stretch cruisers yep. at a pawn See, shop. See, check them out. There's, there's Jose, I'm sorry, with the fish. Nice. <laughs> See him? Yeah. See him? Yeah, nice. his uh, profile yeah. pic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's got so the fish going, dog. Yep. So you found the bike? Yeah, we found the bike at the pine shop, and then yeah. I sent a picture to Juan, and he said, dude, those are the two bikes that were stolen from me three years ago. So I... I had one apart already and half of it to powder coat, so I 
Captain put the other one together, and I'm like, oh, he was going to go, and, oh, yeah, yeah, it's cool, man, you know, fair and square, this, that, and the other thing. The next day, I just showed up at shop and gave him the bike, and, 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 yeah, and we've I remember been bros Juan, ever since. That's yeah, where Juan, it's at, man. Juan, Juan is, it was very happy. I remember, he's like, dude, Tony, look what I got, and he showed me. I remember that. Now, it's all about building relationships. Yeah. Like, if you burn bridges, if you're oh, all about the I'm money, it's like that, that business won't come back. Like, you might get it once or twice, but then mm -hmm. that's about it. That's it. You know, pe people will talk. You know, like, word of mouth is everything. Yeah. Um and and you're right, building relationships. That's how you're able to uh, find a lot of this stuff. You know, Absolutely. a lot of these bicycles, these parts, this quality Absolutely. stuff. Um, and, and that's a good mentality to have, the yeah. Jerry Maguire mentality. You know what well, I mean? Yeah, <laughs> you know, I just I, you look at things, and it's like we're, we're, we're you know I trust me when I, I worked for an engineering firm, and and we were di I, I did well my whole mm -hmm. life, and it, it's like this this whole thing is is gone, taking okay. us to a different level. Video. So. Yeah, you know what I mean. It, it's really picking up. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I understand. Like yeah. it really is. Like when you do it for the love, and you do. Like I was telling Tony, we're, we're like talking about bikes and all this stuff. Like we don't mind talking about this stuff because this is stuff that we love. This and is stuff that fluid. we like. You know what I mean? It's like we don't yeah. mind talking about this stuff all night. I can come in here every week, bro. Hey, man. You can yeah. come, yeah. You come down. I mean, you got know, a lot of plugs. Hey, Jimmy P, thanks, man. That's kick ass. What do you think? Yeah, uh, yeah we can't wait to y'all get together and uh, hang out in San Diego with you, too. Yeah, man. Yeah. Jimmy P has been, he's been cool. He's been so supportive. He's been so positive. He, uh, this whole week he's been, you know, messaging me and Danny up back and forth. And we've just been talking. It's, it's, it's just great. And he said, you know what? I want to be part of the sponsorship. Oh, that's and right. And so we, we did it. So thank you very much, Jimmy, at the, the very end. And then the Chicago brothers, these freaking nuts. <laughs> the I three love them. The three Mexicans and a Canadian. <laughs> I know. That's great. Thanks, <laughs> so, Bliss Taylor. So we gr we greatly appreciate that for all you all the sponsors, Brad. Since you're here right now, we we thank you very much, man. Oh man, it's my pleasure, it's, man. It's, it's been it's been good. So, so the, I mean, the, like the BMX game too, we've been seeing kind of grow, huh? I mean, oh, like out here has been dramatically. Up. Uh, dramatically. A lot of people have been converting to BMX, oh, and man. I mean, uh, coming from the BMX racing, I mean, uh, what's something that you would like to see? Because I mean, a lot of these guys are young to the sport or to the game? I mean, is there something that you miss that you'd like to see again? Like, hey, we used to do this back in the day, and it's well, or just kind of... Because, I mean, wheelies is the thing right now. But, I mean, back in the day, like, I mean, you see some, like, cool tricks, just quick get on the frame, flip over, you know what I mean? Like, just... Well, I mean, if you want to do that, because I have some of my friends, like Woody Itson down in Florida. He's a, he's a king of flatland. Another j couple of guys I know, Martin Aparejo, he's uh, he's really good at Flatland and Eddie Fiola's King of Skate Parks. Yeah. So you go watch these guys ride, and I have, and they're Eddie they're Fiola. on a different level than what we are because I mean I hit a, f a set of fifty foot dubs with no issues on a, on a BMX track, but I, you know we used to go to to ride. I used to ride Lakewood Skate Park with a guy named Tinker Juarez who just happens to be a um, one of the the world champion in like the twenty four hour races and mountain bikes. Now he's a he's a nut. He's crazy. <laughs> the dude's fit though. I wouldn't want to race against him now. But <laughs> we used to go to Lakewood Skate Park and watch uh, Eddie Fiola ride. Eddie you know? Fiola and, uh, is so dope. Um, the 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 thing is with BMX, it, it's it's really it, it's changed, but everything evolves like music or or cars. I mean, it's like what we'd like to see going to the back is. I'd like to see myself 190 pounds again right now. You know, I got my leathers in my jersey. I figured, well, I'm starting a team. Might as well sponsor myself. So, uh -huh. so man. <laughs> so I got a whole shot. But it's I never too late. Shop. It's never too I late. Wore that. I should have wore that over here. But I'm going like, man, you know what? I ate shit on this. I ate shit going to work the other day. And I'm going like, damn, this shit hurt. Uh -huh. And I was probably only going like 10 miles an hour, bro. Oh, man. That's how I feel every like, time oh, I get out of bed. Because uh, You I, fall nowadays. It hurts. Hey, but there's a lot of young <laughs> dudes out there that don't realize. There's a lot of older dudes that can still rock the BMX, oh, man. Oh, man. No, I like, can. Straight up. Yeah, no, it, it's like we go on rides and people are swerving and shit, you know, at, at Chris. And then, you know, you can hit me and you're not going to knock me over on a bike if that's what you're saying. It's not, Stay that ain't going to happen. Stay in the front. Stay in your lane. You know, all the way in the back. That isn't going to happen. Stay in your lane. No, I mean, I still know how to ride, even though I'm a big guy. But um, I would, I, I, I'm really thinking about getting committed about hitting the track again this year. Nice. That's cool, man. Nice. Another yeah. exclusive plug here. I like it. I like yeah, see, it. there's Scott. Scott Thompson has the 20 uh, triple XL. 
Things nice. just it, things a whip out of the gate, dude. It, it's What's got that, a Hawk? really stiff rear end. So for for the, for you guys that ride the twenty nines and been thinking about maybe hey you'd like to you know dabble in racing or whatever. There's a lot of older dudes that race too. We we've been seeing a lot of oh, yeah. Yeah. older guys being been getting in it. But if you got kids, if you got something other than baseball and football, because right now times are weird, and I have known and I have seen a lot of the BMX stuff. Uh, coming up, especially I, here I in Vegas it, with yeah. the Vegas it's locals. huge. Yeah. yeah, so it's cool to see the racing again. And again, like, I, I've been thinking about it, too, because uh, just to see what I got, because I know there's a lot of bad, that's why I say respect, because you, you, you <laughs> uh, humble pie, you will eat some of that, because there is a lot of badass dudes out there, man. Uh, but that's, still, you know, that's, the per that's where you want to try it is the track, because, I mean, the street uh safety like we always promote safety we've yes, been we promoting do. safety man but the jamie track, vegas supports it too <laughs> <laughs> no yeah but you know hey go out there and, and give it what you got man why not you know yeah there, there's roger delk he's actually he's a fireman here he's one of our clients roger delk how you doing he um he bought a basset from us he mm -hmm. actually came in his brother from washington state and him came in my shop at the same time to build custom bikes I mean, that's the kind of clientele base that we get. Nice. Uh, yeah, so. And that's proof. Like, he's recognizing the names. Like, he really yeah, he does knows. care. Well, there, there's Garrett Reese, too. He, he actually up, started doing handlebars. I forget the book. It's called Bush BMX. Hit him up for some handlebars. See? Cool. You yeah. guys, see, you guys are getting a lot of information on this show about BMX. And, and we've had a couple other BMX and writers, <laughs> but this guy right here has a plethora. A see, plethora? And there's Ronnie oh, Rojas from Yuma, Arizona. I can go all day long with the clients that oh, we know. Oh, man, you got a whole bunch of clients. You, 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 you got them we all. Get, we get, we, I, 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 like to, I like to feel the connection. Yeah, I mean, well, that's, that's cool, a good man. thing. It really is. It's not just a, it's not a, it's, it's not a paycheck. That, that, see, that's you a good know. thing. A man that respects his clients, that's, that, that's always and a good Russell thing. And Russell Maddox, he's from uh, Stockton, California, I see. believe. Now, mm. do you... If there was one bike that you were sought out, like you were really looking for, like you've always wanted it, but you just haven't had a chance to get it, or you just haven't found it, what bike would it be? Well, you know what? It, it's funny because I used to offer to trade my bike at nationals to other factory riders, mm -hmm. and and I and I hit Mike Polson up once to trade him my PK for his Schwinn Sting, and he he he, did, he just turned around and walked away. And ah. I was like, so I, you know what? It would be one of his Schwinn stings. How's that? Not okay. just a, it's his. 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 Yeah, <laughs> there you go. You heard Mike, it. Mike right. Paulson was 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 terror on it. You know, he's he's a fast fella. And what about you, Mister Brad? What would be your if there was one bike that you were young or you want really bad right now? Well, what bike it, would it be? You know, it's funny it, that you asked that. It'd be my um, because my my little roommate Cassie Lee is always going, "Why, Brad? You're so, everything's red. Everything's everything you're doing is red." I said because. My first bike that I was ever able to pick out myself when I was a kid was a was an all red anodized FMF uh, twenty yeah. inch, and um, I rode it everywhere. I it, it stayed in my bedroom with me the whole bit. And I went to my dad's office one day in an inside building, and someone stole a goddamn bike. And I think uh, I've and it and I think I've just been re. Doing that bike over and over and people over again. People relive it. Yeah, absolutely. Relive yeah, absolutely. it. Absolutely. That's what you gotta do nowadays. They always come in. People like to come in. That's why they they like do a, a theme, the sports theme bike. Mm. Or hey, I had this bike when I was a kid, and here's mm -hmm. what I want to do. And we take care of that for them. Mm. Yep. You know, mine would be a basset. <clears throat> well, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Joe says, if uh, <laughs> went to your store, I bet you remember the Chicago Brothers. Say challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> so come out, man. Hey, you know what? I'm just just a, a side note. I see this guy with Robinson and some of these other bikes. You know, Bassett made Robinson from uh, I believe it was eight, it, 79 to 81. Wow. And we also made the SM products for S, S and M bikes. So, so Bassett same. Bassett was Bassett's you know was was pretty huge at uh, back in the. Uh, it's back in back in the early '80s, and there's there's, a, there's our team manager Kevin Pearson. Bigger right now. Oh hey, yeah. you guys want another little story? Uh, sure. Well. Okay, so Aiden was our first <laughs> our first factory rider, and you know who Woody Itson is, right? I do not. I, okay, I ain't you gonna need lie. To look him up. I'm gonna look Number him one up. Flatlander in the world. Dude, okay. Ever. So I had Woody Itson. I made him a jersey that said Woody, and the kid comes in and says, "Hey, I want a factory ride." And I was talking to him about it. I said, "Well, I'll give you a factory ride, but what's your uh, what's your nickname?" He goes. Attaboy. I go, Attaboy. I go, here, you're Woody now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, was, Attaboy. I, was with, I was with Martin Aparejo because I had the guy, you know, you heard a rad BMX. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Shop, dude. So anyways, uh, 
Bill was over there, and and we took a took a picture and sent it over to Woody. I got, I got him a new jersey. I probably put Itson on it now because now we got our own Woody. So nice. There you go, Woody. <laughs> but uh, no, it's just a funny little story. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Well, guys, well, we greatly appreciate you guys coming over yeah. here all the way from uh, uh, Riverside and, and join us. Thank you very much, Ms. Thanks Chris. for having yeah. us. No yeah. problem. Thank you. Thank I really you. hope that you guys enjoyed it and you hope you enjoyed our production, our production crew, and our setup and everything. And Mr. Brad, as always, thank you thank very you. much. Thanks for having Brad, me. Brad, Brad is always on the top of the list. for he, He's one of the most kindest, coolest dudes I ever met in my life. See oh, thanks, man. I agree. I, I feel the same about you. See, you see this hat? Uh, well, that you treat me he, right, he, man. He told me he's gonna give me that hat after the show. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's mine, bro. The girl who actually styled this hat for me would be really upset about it. <laughs> but that, that's one thing we've been trying to tell people, man. Just come correct when you're asking for stuff, you know, because uh, a lot of times mm -hmm. they really don't know what they're asking for. They want this, they want that, but you we, know, we and can, you know, you, even if somebody wants to call up and ask about <laughs> something compatibility within product within different branding and stuff like that. I, you know, I just like I told Thanks, you guys, Pedro. you can show me a, a picture of something I can basically, not that I want to do that all day long. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But, yep. you know, if people need help out there, they can hit you me. You have the knowledge. Take mm -hmm. care of them. Yeah. yeah. And Kuya, we he, he takes, Hawk takes the best nice. photos ever. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've got, that, that's my photo on it's my Hawk? Facebook Hawk? page like this. Hawk is awesome. Yeah. Hawk, Hawk, Hawk is dope. Yep. Yeah. And he's a fast-ass rider. He's oh, like, yes, yeah. he is. Hey, on that yeah. small bike, hey, guy. coaster break. And he's doing single speed and jumping off that thing every five minutes yeah. to, to take pictures. <laughs> yeah, take yeah pictures for real, man. Hey, just to let you guys know, we want to thank you guys very much. We hit a hundred viewers on tonight's Ooh. show. Oh, thank you, shit. thank you, 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 thank you. We hit a hundred. So be a part yes, of Yes, you were viewers. in, man. You were in, yeah. You were in. Wow. Bill and I are good luck, so man. That, that was good. That was good. But thank you guys right very on. much. Um, I want to show you what's going to be on for next week's show. Ooh, it's going to be a good one. Hey, wait a second here. You had that loud horn, dude. What's up with that thing? I already used it. I didn't see it. Get some. Get he does some. it for the opening. You have to do it. So if y'all ain't got no BMX parts, you need to go to pedal whip. Uh, pedal whip. Pedal power. <laughs> oh. <laughs> pedal, power. <laughs> pedal power over there in Riverside. Uh. They got all the best parts. Eye candy galore. I'm telling you, y'all will go broke in that store, but you'll be leaving with a smile. Oh, by the way, Tony walked sideways in that store six inches at a time for oh, three yeah. hours. People weren't believing me when I told them that. I was like, I sat, like, I, ding, I went here and I moved here and looked up and looked down. And then went here, <laughs> looked up and looked down. That's all I did in the whole store for yeah, like about an hour. So, yeah, but that's his style. My style is just like I'll take this I'll take and this, I'll take I'll that take and I want this. One day I'll get to that. Whose wheels are these? I'll, yeah, one day I'll get <laughs> to that. <laughs> that's a famous last thing. Whose wheels are these? Yeah. That's not the first time he's done that. <laughs> so for next week's show, we have a really, really good guest, uh, Mr. Rich Luna. It's coming on next week, guys. This guy right here is an artist, pinstriper. Um, he's out in, uh, I believe he's in Sacramento, in San Jose, somewhere over there in, in on. Uh, NorCal. NorCal. So, uh, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm so stoked that he's going to be. He was really happy when we asked him to be on the show. And yeah, very We were very, artist. very excited that he said yes. So I just have to say to Erica Reinhardt, yeah. you have the sweetest girls basset on the planet. There you go. You heard it. That, you that's heard saying it. a lot coming from Brad right that's, there, yeah. man. <laughs> Brad, yes, it is. So, uh, yeah, so, so Rich Luna is going to be here. Next, uh, he's not going to be here. He'll be online from his house. And uh, so check out his information. We're going to post all the flyers, all the stuff that we've had on the show. We're going to post it on our uh, Pedals Up podcast uh, Facebook page and on our exclusive page and on uh, all our pages. We're mm -hmm. just going to blast everything. So don't get upset when you start seeing it everywhere, but it is what it is. So thank you guys very much for tuning in, and thank you guys for coming into the shop and talking Thanks, to Jerry. What happened? He wants me to cut Hawk wants me to do some logoed hats for me, the logo you made for Ah, me. okay. Okay, we'll got you. get on it, buddy. Got you. Hi, Marlene. All right, so we out of here. Thank you, guys. Appreciate right. it. Thanks for so, having us. And if you ain't got a bike, get a bike. Stop being lazy you in your goddamn life. life. We out of here. <laughs>
Pedal Power BMX. And now I'm rolling out the back street. You can roll right past me. Ooh. Ain't got no time for the bullshit. But you can catch me in traffic. Yeah. You can catch me in traffic. Oh, my street. Yo, you building a show bike? You building a race bike? Trying to build the ultimate street bike? Anything you need for your bike, Pedal Power BMX has it, son. Look them up and tell them the boys from Pedals Up Podcast sent you, boy. Look them up. Look at the website. Everything you need. Everything. Everything from A to Z, son. Low life riders. It's a bike like roll call. riders. It's a bike like I'm going ape shit. It's a bike like roll call. Wicked ways. It's a bike like roll call. Patina customs. It's a bike like roll call. Asylum bike. It's a bike like roll call. Rat ride. It's a bike like roll call. LDR. It's a bike like roll call. Warm warm. It's a bike like roll call. Scrap father. It's a bike like roll call. This is bike life. It's a bike like roll call. Like, like.